if you want to get it done, you should do it yourself, right? No, that is total BS. Why? Let's find out. <laughs> So by the way, if you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Lots of great videos coming up in the areas of public speaking, habits and productivity. <sighs> if you want to get it done right, you should do it yourself. Yes? Ah, no, this is terrible advice. This is terrible. But many of us, we've grown up with this. Many entrepreneurs that I know, many business people that I know, people who move into manager positions, sometimes even executive position, they sometimes still have that mindset. If you want to get it done right, right, you should do it yourself. Let me share with you three reasons why that's not the case and why this way of thinking, this mindset is actually very bad for you. So reason number one, it's not even true. <laughs> You cannot be good at everything, yes or yes. It's, Im it's impossible to be good at everything. And if you, the whole mindset, if you want to get it done right, do it yourself, come on. There, there's often in many cases, there's somebody who can do what you're doing better or somebody who could do it equally or almost as good, but would save you basically a lot of time. Yeah, so it, it makes zero sense. And let me give you a quick example here that you can really relate to. Um, every year, a couple of times, I get an invitation to something, some event. It can be a business event, it can be a personal event. And the person who sends it, they play amateur designer. Do you know what I mean? Instead of getting a designer, nowadays you can get them very inexpensively, anybody pretty much. And most companies, they have their in-house designers. No, but they want to try it themselves. And it takes them hours to do it and it's not even as good as it should be. So it's not even true in many cases, but this mindset is really blocking you that you should do everything yourself. And it's not the case. So let go of that mindset. It's not true. So reason number two, if you truly believe that, that you have, if you want to get it done right, you have to do it yourself. If you believe that, um, you can never grow to the level that you were meant to grow to. Why? Very simple. If you're watching this and you really believe this, I know that you are terrible at delegating things. Terrible. And every human being has only so many hours in a workday, so many things that you can do yourself. And if you're not good at delegating to other people, okay, you have this mindset, if I, have, if I want to get it done right, and because of that, you don't delegate to others, you can never grow as big as you want. Never. I mean, think about any big company, what do they do? They hire people and they delegate to others. If you're an entrepreneur or a creator, creators are really big on this. They think they can do everything themselves and they want to do everything themselves. It's not gonna help you. You will never grow to the level that you want to grow to. And I, I know that myself because this used to be me, right? Entrepreneur and creator, right? Author and I like being creative and I think I can do it myself. That, that, that used to be me, that used to be me. So if this is you, I fully understand you because I used to be there as well. I used to be in the same shoes that you're in. Just let me tell you, it will stop you from growing as big and as much as you cook. So stop it, start delegating. And reason number three, in some cases, it makes you quite lonely and quite untrustworthy. I mean, think about it. If let's say you have a team that's working for you and you always, you know, you let them do something and then you check it and oh, I don't like it. And then you say that phrase again, if I want it done right, I have to do it myself. <laughs> How do they feel about you? Yeah, not, not so great. So you're seen as untrustworthy. Um, the relationship's probably not so good. You're also a little bit lonely. And by the way, by the fact that you're not asking other people for help, you're setting yourself up for lonely work, pretty much lonely work. Yeah, so you have to overcome that. You have to overcome that. I make, I'm making this video because I feel for you, because I care about you because I used to be exactly in the same shoes and that was my mindset in the past, right? So you have to let it go. 
You have to start trusting others more, start delegating. And it doesn't mean you accept bad work, not at all. It just means you become better at delegating. The more that you do it, yeah, the more that you work on it, you just, you just gotta keep at it. You know, you gotta keep at it, but at some point you will feel like, yes, this was so worth it. Yes, this was fantastic. I can grow to the level that I want. I'm surrounded by people who I work with. They trust me, right? I feel like this is real teamwork. We're creating something great here. So let go of that belief, okay, and start delegating. So comment below on time. Was this your belief until now? Be honest. <laughs> and how has this stopped you? You know, from achieving that success, the success and the joy at work that you wanted. And what are you gonna do from now on? What are you gonna change? How are you gonna use these little, these little challenges that I've been throwing here at you? Yeah. So, and by the way, if you haven't done it yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Lots of great videos coming up. You don't wanna miss out. If you like this video, you can click like it as well. And most importantly, I really look forward to seeing you for the next video.